Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review. Thanks for watching this time with another Mitter Frankish's killer beer. This one is from Brauerei Prechtel, located in Ullefeldt in Mittelfranken, and uh, it's one that I will look forward to a lot. I also have the Hopfen Stoff, which is a, uh, which is a Helles beer, um, probably something close to a Pils, uh, according to the name Hopfen Stoff. It really sounds like it's a Pils, but this one is um, a kettle beer and it's called Schnappala and uh, that's the name that you can see right here on the top label and here is the logo of the brewery and very nice looking uh, label in my opinion with the swan right here how I tricked the wolf it and um, as you can see it's got the bigger first juice also so um, nice one well, I've been looking forward to a lot, always right time for a Franconia and Kello beer, as you know, uh, one of my favorite beer styles. I'm going to uh, start with speaking a little bit about the history of the brewery, information from the brewery's website uh, that I will link to in the description box below, of course, as always. Uh, our brewery has been owned by the Prechtel family for over 100 years. We are still consciously pr producing beer in the spirit of old craftsmanship in the brew house, for example, the agitators are still driven by a transmission the vault is cooled on a refrigerated ship and the fermentation takes place in open fermentation vats. We would like to invite you to visit the Franconian brewing tradition on site. Our kettle beer is filled unfiltered into the practical swing tap bottles. The yeast it contains is, in, is rich in vitamins and gives the drink its opalescent appearance. Another characteristic feature is the light full-bodiedness and the low carbonic acid content which makes the sip bigger, a phenomenon that can be observed in our beer garden in Wogendorf, especially in the fine season. And some more information that I found on the Beer Wanderers website, which also is real nice. Uh, Neustadt Eich. Um, output 1500 hectoliters, founded 1900. This is still very much a family enterprise, with the brewer's mother still serving beers at uh, the keller in the summer. Right in the center of the small town, the bus stops across the street from the bustling little brewery. Even on a cold weekend in October, the place was busy and the town was bigger than I expected. I had uh, wanted to come here for a long time, but mostly to check out the nearby beer keller, also operated by Prechtel. I took a chance in October to find, only to find out that the ice outside venue is still open until late September. To be honest, with the way the weather was, it wouldn't have been open anyway. At any rate, the cozy brewery did just fine. Unfortunately, the kettle wheel seems to be available only on tap at the kettle, so uh, had to settle for their hopfen stuff, which was good but not quite what I was looking for. After having come quite a long way, I noticed locals and the bartender were drinking a kettle wheel from bottles, so I opted for that next. I was glad I had it, uh, since it was uh, superior. The food menu was uh, extensive and I was hungry. I deliberately getting cup, the specialty of the area, but it was cold and I wanted something more warming, so I opted for the Bauchbraten, a smoked ham with dumplings. It took forever and I saw countless plates of cup being served and started to wonder if the bartender had forgotten my order. It turned out that there was a used bus load in the next room and my food finally arrived and I was glad I, heard, or I ordered it with, uh, as it was uh, really amazing. Uh, on the way back from the toilet I noticed that the sign for their Kerva beer. It turned out the festival was the following we weekend but they had it in bottles already. It was marvelous malty brew with a perfect way to finish the meal. I finally got back to Bogano for Fritz and Keller and it was worth the wait. The Keller wheel was on tap and I had hoped uh, and great stuff too. Um, and about this one, the Schnappdala, we can read the following inf information on this here Wanderers website. Um, Brewery Prechtel Town Wolfeld style Keller wheel. Color in Krug, so not uh, so visual. Head thinning, nose multi, but hint of hops, body medium, low carbonation, palate dry, fruity, finish, long dry, finish, uh, served in a bottle at the brewery. Impression, this was the beer I've traveled so far to have. 
but unfortunately it wasn't available on tap. As a matter of fact, the barman said uh, only the Hellas was. Uh, it was a fairly dry fruity, so I had no complaints. I did notice that the barman and some guys at, um, at one of the table were all drinking bottled Kellogg's, so I had to give it a try. It was much more flavorful and superior to the Hellas, so I was glad I had it. Hope to return in summer, as I imagine it's on tap at the Kellogg of the outskirts of town. It was um, kind of beer I could imagine drinking quite a few of. And also, I'm gonna show you, of course, as used to do, the information from the um, from the books that I'm having. For example, this one right here, and you see Brauer Prechtel right here, and um, information is uh, uh, founded. Uh, no year here uh, in this information. Uh, Brauer Walter Prechtel annual output 1500 hectoliters. Vom Hopfenstoff zu mancherlei Weise. Walter Prechtel hat ein gutes Händchen, nicht nur beim Brauen, sondern auch bei der Benennung seiner Bierspezialitäten. Wo andere von Voll- und Weißbier säuseln, gibt es beim ihm Hopfenstoff mancherlei Weise und auch ein Schnapperl. Hinter letzterem versteckt sich das extrem süffische und filtrierte Kellerbier, das auch einen Besuch auch, äh, auf dem Brauerei Bierkeller in Wogendorf so einzigartig macht. Die Brauerei an sich gehört den Prüchtels. Nun, seit fünf Generationen putzt sein sich einmal im Jahr zum Brauereifest im April besonders heraus. Mit dabei ist dann auch eine Oldtime Bulldog Parade. Drei Gesichter, eine Brauerei. Im Brauereigasthof geht es ganz klassisch und traditionell zu äh, und es dreht sich vor allem um Karpfen im Monaten mit R und schlagt Schlüssel jeden Donnerstag. Ab und zu verwandelt sich der Saal des Hauses in einem Tanzschuppen, den in den dann die Rock- und Coverbands der Region ihr lauten Unwesen treiben. Ganz im Gegensatz übrigens der Musikant Stammisch. Am ersten Donnerstag im Monat, wenn es sich äh, sicher eher als Musikant Standel und and Company anhört. Das dritte und für uns sensationalste Gesicht des Hauses gehört dem Bierkeller in Wogendorf, wo die Quite Elis äh, das Sagen hat. Hier wird Bierkeller Tradition noch gelebt und das auf drei Etagen. Und dann hätten wir noch einen Geheimtipp. Am Vier Festtagen im Sommer fließt aus den hauseigenen Bierbrauen leckeres Spezialbier, das sich die Gäste dann zu den Klängen der Hausband selber zapfen können. And of course, information also from my other book that I also used to show you, which is this one right here. And we have Brauer Prechtel right here. Look at it. Uh, it says, uh, besteht since 1900 in family besitz. Um, uh, brewer is Walter Prechtel uh, and uh, mostly sold is Hopfenstoff. According to this book, the other one, uh, according to the other book, the most sold beer was this one, the Schnappala. So I'm glad I have, uh, I have both beers to try here on the channel. Um, other beers, Schmankerl, Weisse, Schnapperla and Hopfenstoff. Ja, Brauerei Gaststätte Prechtel Bierkeller in Wogendorf. That's about it. And finally, the tasting part of this one, let's look at the label. Uh, Brauerei Prechtel Ulpelt. Uh, Familie Brauerei. Zutaten Brauwasser, Gastelmanns, Hopfen, Brauhefe. Uh, and uh, gebraut nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot von 1516. Die sympathische Familie Brauerei im Eichgrund. Uh, we should have the alcohol content right here, 4.5% volume, a little bit lower maybe according to the normal volume of kilobeers, but let's give this one a try, my expectations of the Schnappala, finally I'm going to, to try it, the Brauerei Prechtel Ulfeld. So let's plop this one up with the bügel for Schluss, like that. And for that, of course,
with this one right here, and you see very very thick white foam crown just the way it should be on the Calabria. Perfect look of this two finger white foam crown and very very cloudy in its appearance. Very very typical Calabria in my opinion. So let's get the aroma of course. Which is really really nice, very fresh, typical Franconian Calabria. Aroma, unfilteredness, really really nice. So, well by Prechtel. Stoff of like Calabria. Post. Very easy to drink, of course. Um, nice, fantastic, Calabria taste of it. Big recommendation for me. Who oh, um, really love Calabria in every way. It's um, it's a big recommendation, and um, easy to feel that it's high quality, Franconian Calabria of it. The unfilteredness, well balanced, high quality ingredients, high quality brewing process. Um, all in all, it doesn't disappoint at all. For me, this is a big recommendation. I really hope that you're gonna try it. And I've been trying quite many Kello beers since I love them so much, the beer style. And um, I understand why this one is very loved. So, really fantastic in taste compared to many other Kello beers. It's a really nice one. So, good job, by Prechtel. I really recommend it, of course. Um, and also, bottle is looking real nice, can fit nice into my bottle collection, of course. Yeah. That did, that's it, that's the um, Brauerei Prüftel Schnappbauer. And um, with that said, hope you um, like my reviews, continue to follow my channel for more interesting Franconi beer reviews and see you again in the next Franconi beer review.